a big Hi, imposing I'm camera. Robin. I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Jeff. I'm nice following you guys on Twitter. Thank you. It's Thanks. awesome for the technology. Thank you. In Salt Lake City, there is a water tower that looks like the Amity's water it. tower, and there's there. one up north where I live in Ogden. Yeah. yeah. He's the middle child at 20, so when, when these kids were kids, they swear that the Animaniacs lived in at the, the, water in the water tower. Yeah. Let them think it, man. Why not? And they didn't have baloney in their pants. Oh, uh, well. I do now. Yeah, exactly. Now we're learning it. Yeah, um, well, I'll tell you what. Um, it is just it's such a thrill not only to be here, but the fact that, that uh, Animaniacs in particular and yeah. Ninja Turtles and, and some of the stuff, Pinky in the Brain, we've all worked on shows that ha really are cross-generationally -genera oh, successful. Absolutely. And, um, the baby's about to go crazy yeah, when she man. sees us. I mean, oh. we're doing these, um, Jesse and Tress McNeil, who is Dodd, and myself and Randy Rogel, who wrote virtually all the songs all those that great we like from Animaniacs. We, uh, we're, we're working on taking our live Animaniacs music show around the country. Yeah. And, and the response is phenomenal because the music is so good. And it's so entertaining. And, and we get people who are, you know, 45 or 50 and they bring their 25-year-old kids and then sometimes their grandkids right. and it's all relevant. It's great. Right. Yeah. Now, do you guys actually work in the same studio at the same time or do you have the script and... It's preferable. We prefer to be together. But it hardly ever, it's hardly ever seems to happen. Yeah, because now, we're all know. going in different directions, but when we did Animaniacs, oh, we're always, always together. Always together. At Ninja Turtles, always together. And that was well, awesome. It seems... You guys seem to play off each other. The sarcasm. Oh, Jesus. How can yeah. you not have a good time playing with that guy? Oh, know? no. It's, it's way better to have actors like Jess and Tress and all these you know that it's a it's a hackneyed phrase but it's true a high tide raises all boats you, you better know? believe it man. I'm better when these guys are around oh absolutely me, me too and it's like these days for some reason and I mean I'm not knocking it and we're both blessed to be working every day and doing stuff but it's like now basically you show up and it's just you in a room which is good because you get to go to lunch that much quicker but you know you kind of miss that interplay and you miss the creativity when we go off on tangents and you find that intelligent shows like Animaniacs a lot of the time when we would go off on tangents they'd keep a lot of the stuff we right. said they'd, they'd be like it ends up in the show yeah there was no ego involved it was funny, so they said, "Oh, that's better than what we got. Let's use that." And even great. even if it, even if an ad lib doesn't end up in the show, um, we use it on the next show. Yeah, but <laughs> the, uh, the 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 truth is, there is an energy that's created um, when the all the actors are in the room together. That, in my view, and I've done over two thousand half hours of yep. TV animation. In my view, the shows on which I've worked that have been successful have that component of all the actors being together, and that energy translates. To the, to the screen and the product, and it's it's almost it's palpable. You can, it's like you go, oh yeah, and, those guys were together. Honestly, yeah. looking at a, a character on cellulite that's animated, and the voice behind it, it looks like you guys had a hell of a fun. Oh, time. Geez, oh absolutely, kidding me? man! It's the best, oh, totally. you know, best I, we, thing ever. We truly do have so much fun, and I I, I promise you. There is no session in which I don't go. Are you kidding me? Me too. Me too. I've been doing this. I've been do the first cartoons I did were GI Joe and Transformers in the mid '80s. So I've been doing this for 30 plus years, and it all it does is continue to be more fun, more enjoyable. You meet more young people who who did you didn't what you know that, that didn't you know. Now they're 35 and, and they and love somewhat it. Somewhat not young people. Well, I'm myself. older than you, man, and I just I just love doing it. There's no downside. The Are hardest you on the, part on the other side of 50. Oh yeah, I'm on, I'm just south of 60. Yeah, I'm just on okay. this side of 50, but I still watch those type of. Oh, dude, cartoons. they're funny. The people forget the people that make cartoons are not little kids, man. We're grown ups. Yeah. SpongeBob, my kids are going to hell. Oh, yeah. No, I got the joke. Wow, totally. That's nice. Nice. Yes. Well, that's Underwear beautiful. used to be white at one time. Yeah. Uh, Could I get a bump for you? Yeah. Sure. It's called I Sci Fi. I Sci Fi. I Sci Fi. I Sci I Sci Fi. I Sci Fi. Like science fiction, but we're a verb. I Sci Fi. Okay. okay. Hello, I Sci Fi. Okay, yeah. Hello, I Sci Fi. Yakko Warner here. Wacko Warner here without pants. Yeah, I Sci Fi. Why the hell don't you? Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. There you go, man. Nice.